Lake Mead's water level is at the lowest level in history. Unfortunately, the Colorado River is over allocated. And with the decrease in precipitation over the last 20 years, the water shortage problem has become a crisis. For a hundred years since the Colorado Compact was signed in 1922, arguments, agreements, disagreements, litigation, mitigation, regulations, some binding, some voluntary, have mostly failed to solve complicated and unforeseeable issues. As the story goes, after Mark Twain visited our area, he made this famous quote, Whiskey is for drinking, water is for fighting. In 2007, the Seven States Agreement established new guidelines, a three-tiered water level assessment, each triggering restrictions. However, the assessments are only taken on January 1st each year. In 2017, Lake Mead reached a level below the first tier, but no restrictions were enacted because the level came back slightly before the assessment date. The agreement also allowed for some states to store water from unclaimed allocations, like a savings account where you can put money you don't use and then spend it later, which may exacerbate the shortage issues as those states and even Mexico begin taking stored water owed to them. In California's Central Valley project, based on projections earlier this year, regulators estimated water allocations would be cut to 5% for agriculture. Recently, with new actuarial data, they have changed that number. Allocation for farmers is cut to zero. Farmers are resorting to pumping water from the ground The cinematic landscape along the Colorado River has always been a favorite background for Hollywood filmmakers. That iconic scene of Harvey Keitel chasing after that teal-colored T-bird as Thelma and Louise drive off of Dead Horse Point in Moab, Utah. It's even a location on Google Maps. While filming parts of Sean Penn's Into the Wild around Meadview, the crew stayed at the Meadview Motel. I actually hosted a group from the United Kingdom who came all the way out here to Meadview to film an ad series for high-end shoes. The Sacramento Delta in Northern California 
is a large network of waterways fed by the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers. The Delta water is mostly unused and must be allowed to flow into the ocean to reduce salinity. A delicate balance is necessary to make sure salt water is not pumped to agriculture. Southern Nevada gets 90% of its water from Lake Mead. In 2002, the Southern Nevada Water Authority implemented a water conservation plan that has been so successful that it is now a model for other states. They say that all the indoor water taken by Las Vegas is treated and returned to the lake and that if you turned on every faucet and shower in every Las Vegas hotel room, it would not impact the lake at all. They also claim that since 2002, Las Vegas has grown by 800,000 people, yet they use 23% less water than in 2002. In addition to recycling, the success is also a result of incentives to convert green lawns to desert rockscapes, a water patrol to locate leaks and misuse, and restricted outdoor watering schedules. Still, the intake straws into the lake will not be able to draw water below a thousand feet water level. At about level 950 feet, Hoover Dam will not have enough water to turn the power generators and at 895 we will be at Deadpool. We'll not be able to pass water on downstream. Our water from Meadview, for, this, for the town of Meadview, comes from an underground aquifer that is pretty much the entire, takes up the entire Grapevine Mesa Plateau up here. Uh, it's about 450 feet down to the water and probably six, 700 feet deep from there. So, so we don't rely on Lake Mead for our water. No, we don't get any water from Lake Mead out here. It's a strictly underground aquifer that's not connected to the lake in any way. Um, we uh, mainly rain, snow recharge, so. Well, the water company has to fill out paperwork with the, with the state Department of Water Resources and stuff like that, and um, we do a paper every year, a few years, uh, with an assured 100 year water supply. So hopefully at least another 100 years. Um, we update it every so often. So hopefully at least in you know, our lifetime we should have water. So.